Agile Combat Employment is how we are going to tackle great power competition in a highly contested environment. So last week, the 23rd Wing executed a wing level exercise to practice our Agile Combat Employment tactics, techniques, and procedures, uh, as well as implementing Air Combat Command's uh, lead wing concept of operations to really set the expectation for what capabilities this uh, wing needs to provide to the combatant commanders uh, in the high-end fight. The lead wing is a concept that Air Combat Command has pushed out in terms of how we're going to generate and then present forces to the combatant commanders. Uh, and the capability that that lead wing has to provide is a organic command and control function, uh, mission generation function, and a air base squadron or boss I function. And that will deploy as an organic unit that will also have the capability to bring in inorganic units and command and control them as well. For the command and control function, that is primarily going to be your A staff or air staff at the wing level. In the high-end fight that we're expecting in the Pacific or European theater, we expect that we're gonna have to maneuver around a lot and the A staff is going to control and talk to uh, the maneuver forces, which are these mission generation squadrons. So the mission generation squadrons are a mesh of your traditional fighter squadron unit, as well as your AMUs from the maintenance side of the house. The fundamentals there is that they're able to organically generate uh, combat air power and how they, how they do it is still up for debate, but they're uh, primarily expected to do that in a dislocated and contested environment. The Air Base Squadron's role is providing the sustainment for uh, your organic air expeditionary wing and all of its uh, maneuver forces that are out in the field. It, it goes back to the 2018 National Defense Strategy on this refocus to great power competition and how we're going to deal with that. And uh, several documents came out in regards to how we would execute agile combat employment. And it was identified that multi capable airmen are a, uh, quote, key enabler of this concept. So in order to be agile, we have to be light and lean uh, and cross-functional. Uh, and multi-capable, uh, and that's what all lead wings and I'd even say MAGCOMs are experimenting with right now. I would say that it was a success, again, going back to what we really wanted from this, which was a start of a cultural change that needs to occur, as well as set baseline expectations. We need to keep everything in, in context and be careful what we say we learned here. And the context is those boundaries provided by the 2018 uh, NDS and the guidance that we're getting from higher. So uh, looking to provide a capability as a force provider to be ready for the high-end fight.